hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well first and foremost happy new year yes happy new year everyone i hope you're all thriving and doing really really well i am currently in uh, hungary budapest i came here for some um, dental treatment um i had an implant put in as you can see my face is pretty swollen i had it done about three days ago so i've been like recuperating for the past few days in this hotel room so this is what i've been doing i actually had big plans for this trip i was going to um do loads of um tutorials and show and tells show and tells do we do show and tells anymore show and tells regarding my skincare line if you don't know i have a skincare line however look at the state of my face my face is so swollen um i really don't think this is the time to doing anything related to beauty because this is not fabulous this just looks like i've had a fight with mike tyson so i won't be um doing um well no i didn't decide against it uh, i thought i would just sit from downtime plus they confiscated my some of my just sippy products at the airport because it's so mean because it wouldn't all fit into one bag so they confiscated some stuff so um that put like, a bit of a spanner in the works so definitely when i go back to london i will be doing some uh tutorials on my uh skincare line if you don't know it's just sippy.com i'll leave the link below but yeah so i came to um hungary to get a dental implant only because as you know dental care is just astronomically expensive in the uk and i had a tooth extracted about um oh god ten, more over 10 years ago more than 10 years ago um and it was all great i had a bridge put in but what happens over time i noticed that my face was caving in I had like a face caving in and i started to get like a wrinkle around here so i was like okay let me google what's going on and basically what happens when you extract a tooth you get bone loss in that area so i was getting bone loss in the area and my face was literally well no one everyone wants they couldn't see it but i could see it my face was like caving in and as i said i was getting this wrinkle and i was like hell to the no we are not ready for wrinkles on the face so um basically yeah if you get if you have bone loss your face your, bone, your bones basically hold your face like nice and high and full and give that lovely structure once you start getting bone loss in your face your face starts to like cave in which happens anyway when you get older but listen i ain't ready for no um wrinkles in my face so basically i opted to get um an implant just to get the volume back in my jaw and i had, to, I had a bone graft but if you want to hear more about my implant um drama because i know you guys love hearing about my medical bits and pieces i will tell you more about the implant i will tell you more about the clinic i went to we came very highly recommended i'm not going to say who they are right now only because i've just had the treatment done let's see what happens but they came highly recommended so if you want to know more about the implant journey i will let you know i hope you guys are all fine regarding your eyes and your toes i know i get a lot of questions still about my eyes and my toes it's like one of the most viewed videos i have on my channel i don't have that many videos on my channel but it's quite highly viewed and i really don't think i'm gonna make any more videos about my eye obviously definitely definitely not the toes but about my eye because i really do feel like that part of my life with that chapter of my life is over for now um it's in the rear view mirror um, obviously i do want to get my droopy eyes sorted out um at some stage i'm just waiting to find a surgeon that i trust because i really you know the skin on the eye is so delicate i don't want to go to the wrong surgeon and they do it and it fails and then i'm going to go back for corrective surgery because you know the eyes is not an area where you want to keep going back to correct if you don't have to because the skin that is so delicate right and i have dark skin i have black skin obviously and we tend to scar easier so i'd rather live with this with the droop eye situation which i've kind of come to terms with now i do want to fix it trust me i want to fix it but like i say i want to find a, a good surgeon so i don't think i'm going to be doing any more videos about the eye i'm so sorry guys unless it's requested unless it's requested and you have a burning question 
I don't think I'm going to do any more videos about the eye because I really haven't got anything else to report. I don't have any problems with my eye anymore in terms of pain and swelling and stuff. But of course, I'm always here to answer your questions because I know what it's like. However, guys, seriously, sometimes you guys will message me saying, um, hi, I've had surgery. It's been two days. I mean, like, really two days? It's been two days. What was your eye like on day two? What was your eye like on day three? What was your eye like on day 15? I'm like, guys, come on. It was like three years ago. I don't know what my eye looked like day by day of my recovery. But however, I get it. Um, I know I've been in that situation. I know when you have your surgery, once they've cut you up and done what they want to do, they just push you out the door and you, you're on your own. They don't help you, but I, I do get it. But um, so if you have a question, I will answer your question. But, um, but really guys, don't message me on day two or three. Watch the videos. I took me, like I say, it took me one year for my eye to heal, one year. So literally you're messaging me on day two, three four there's nothing there's no time at all i was still out of it by day three or four that i do remember and uh, what's been happening so moving on from the eye um so yeah only if it's requested will i be doing any more eye videos i'm really sorry i know i get subscribers that want to know about the eye but i've got nothing else to add okay um what's been happening um update i passed my driving test first time which was amazing obviously i've got my new skincare business skincare line business and i live in london so i didn't really feel the need to um get a car because it's so easy we've got 24 hour uh transport in london but because of this business it was just becoming so expensive to transport my stock from a to b going to trade shows pop-up exhibitions events trying to you know, selling my stuff it became just so expensive hiring drivers so i actually learned how to drive and i passed first time honey first time baby so i'm going to do a video about how to pass your test first time and i passed my theory first time i know loads of people are passing the theory first time it's so easy i found a really easy trick to pass your theory first time i mean all, you, all you've got to do is remember the stuff which is really bad advice all you've got to do is remember information while you're in that chair after that you just remember it when you stop driving it will sink in um and what else has happened i think that's it yeah so um i think that's it that's just like, the update i thought i would just jump on here start the new year with a video sort of being naughty naughty as i am guys if you are watching still go to my instagram page just Sefi beauty i am much better over there i post every day but my instagram page needs a little love honey so go in there and like my page and while you're at it you can subscribe to this channel because if you subscribe more maybe i might post more you know maybe maybe but yeah that's it really guys so um yeah um i'll keep you updated about this too look at this look at this and i'm going to be gap to if i can't put my crown back in um for three months i'm going to come back here in three months because this man so swollen but yeah i'll keep updated on my implant um i do recommend guys honestly i know uh people are struggling at the moment but if you have a tooth extracted please don't wait 10 years like me i'm always doing things to get it um i know i know it's expensive but do consider come going abroad for board dentistry because it's a lot cheaper and don't wait till your face starts caving in before you get an implant. So hopefully I'm going to get the results I want and I won't have that dent in my face anymore. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated about this implant. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. I'm leaving today, about to jump on my plane. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in London. And I will see you all in my next video. Keep thriving, keep winning. You're winners. 2023 is your year. And I will see you in London.